What a difference time can make. Just eight months ago, some horses were barely hanging on, suffering from abuse and neglect. Today, we checked in with one of their rescuers and found they've been given even more than just a whole new chance at life. This was a scene at the Triple R Ranch near Mountain Air last June, where at least 18 horses were found dead. and more than a dozen others starving to death. Nine of the surviving horses were taken to a livestock auction to be sold to slaughterhouses, but rescuers stepped in to make sure that wouldn't happen. They came in and they were in really bad shape. And as we do with all our starvation horses, and unfortunately we do get a number of them, we put them on a regimen of uh, nutrition and vet care. The Walking in Circles Ranch in Edgewood adopted three of the horses and quickly nursed them back to health. But little did the ranch hands know they were getting more than they bargained for. Fairly quickly realized that they were all three of them pregnant. You could not tell that they were pregnant, you know, they were starving. So far, only Alice has given birth, but the ranch is expecting Abby and Amy to deliver any day now. We're uh, hopefully going to have babies now between now and Easter. So we have a couple of Easter babies. We had a, a St. Patrick's Day baby. To imagine that these horses saw members of their herd fall and starve to death and rot in the field and to be in such dangerous circumstances, such deadly circumstances, and then to be rescued and then to, to have life come out of that. That is a wonderful thing.